Hi! Welcome to chapter 8. Um, this is the pre-video pre before you read. Um, there are, there's so much I really just wanted to talk to you about in this one. Um, but anyway, all your spelling and vocabulary words will be the same again, except for I put some on your spelling list that I'm not having you copy, like um, Kappa Pi, which means from head to foot. He talks about the marshals on the list. Um, or Kappa Pi means head to foot. And I didn't think we needed to practice that one. But I did want you to know what it meant, so I gave it to you as a vocabulary word. And then um, I put Wot Ye in there. I don't know how I missed Wot Ye. I found it, <clears throat> excuse me, I found it on another list. I think it was Cliff's Notes that, um, had it in there, and it means, what do you think? What do you know? Well, ye. So, um, I just thought it was fun, so I went ahead and put it on the spelling on the spelling list. And I'm not sure. There was one more. Oh, demivolt, which means a half turn. Demivolt, half turn. Um, <clears throat> I put that one on there because I didn't know what it meant. And I thought a demivolt was maybe a short volt. Like they're gonna bolt, but no, it means a half turn on a you know, a half turn. Um, so before you read, I you need to, it would be very helpful if you know what Gerli Ger Gerli Chrome Kerbu Kerbo. Um, <clears throat> it's in reference to Brian Du Bois Gerbi Gilbier. And, um, it, Ger, Gerli it's French, of course, it means beware of the raven. And it's on his shield, his second shield. And, um, it's, it means beware of the raven, and he himself is the raven. So it's very prideful. And it's not how the, um, Knights Templar were supposed to be, and so it says, "Beware, I am present." is 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 also what that means. And so he's being very prideful and being very boastful. It's like, "I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna beat you. I'm the opponent." Instead of they were supposed to be fighting for God and for country, and he's not. Okay, so that will be helpful to know that before you read. Um, and the. Cave Adsum is is going to be in there, and he is a he's one of the challengers that the disinherited knight is going to face, and it literally means ox face. So he's a big guy, and he has an ox face, and his <laughs> I know, and um his shield has an ox face on it, which also means that he is it shows that he is puffed up with pride, and he's a big bully. So those are some things I wanted you to know. Um, and acquiescence, I think we've had this word, but I just, um, it's to accept something without protest, acquiescence. And I think that's in there in reference to Isaac the Jew. And so I wanted you to make sure you, you knew that. It, um, I think he's going to acquiesce, which will mean that he's going to do something without protest. Um some of these, it's just not going to matter if you know them before you read. Um, like, but anyway, like the uh, cavalcade, cavalcade is a formal procession of people walking or on horseback or in vehicles. For Of course, they're not in vehicles for this application. Um, but it's talking about Prince John's cavalcade as he goes through the list. And he says, by my heldom. Well, heldom means something scarce, or not scarce, sacred, not scarce, sacred. Um, churls, he calls the Saxons the, the churls, and that is a person of low birth. And um, Prince John's aide says, it was for wantonness of a jest, which means um, it's bad behavior, and it's, intentional bad behavior that you don't really care about what that result is and so um that i thought was good adders is a small eurasian so it's 
Europe, Asia, small Eurasian venomous snake. Now, outrance is French, and it was first used in 1819, which I thought was interesting. Um, so that's well within Sir Walter Scott's lifetime there. Um, I forget, he, he passed not too, let me see, 1832 is when he passed. So, um, it was fairly new when he used it there. And it means, um, to the utmost, to the uttermost. Um, for example, until one party surrenders or is killed. And that is the um, going to be in the rules of the joust. And then Burgess is um, that's just a Burgesses, Burgess, Burgesses, Burgesses. That's how you. <laughs> it's an um, an inhabitant of the town or the borough, which in England boroughs are towns. And then um, the largest, the gris, those are gifts that the people are going to throw onto the field and, and then pinions it's a pennant it either is like um like a baseball pennant you know or a swallow tail i gave you some examples there on your um definitions of what a pennant would look like it's different different types um <laughs> oh well you covered that one what do you think what do you know and then Demi Volt, we covered that one. Okay, so those are all your vocabulary words. And I'm going to look at my notes real quick. Okay. Um, the rest of them, the rest of the discussion will come on the back end. Hey, there's so much goodness in this chapter. I really like chapter 8. This is where the story really gets going. Um... I'll see you on the other side. Bye.